You know me, I keep the same energy. What well, I was going to say, Israel, I mean, we're not used to talking to you under these circumstances after a loss, right? We're usually after a victory, so I guess you say you keep the same energy. What, what is the emotion like for you right now? Hmm. Oh, I'm burp. <laughs> That's the same. Uh, what's the emotion? Uh, I'm grateful. Oh, thanks, David. Uh, <clears throat> I'm grateful. What a life. What a moment. Fucking crazy, isn't it? Like, similar to the last time. Same story. It's crazy. But, um, yeah, I was fine. First thing I said to you, Joe, the ref, I was, I was fine because I was still lucid. I was in there. But, um, yeah, shit happens. Yeah. Does that mean that you're you're really not happy with the stoppage? That you feel like maybe nah, it's I, I watch. I talk to my coaches and. I trust them. I trust them. But I was fine. I knew my like, – I could see everything happen. I wasn't – my eyes might have rolled back a little bit, but I was lucid. Yeah. Up to that point, it was probably one of your best performances. I mean, does that make this one, like, maybe even a little more difficult because it was such a phenomenal performance no, until that point? No, really. I, I'm, that's why I said I'm, I'm grateful. I'm proud. Uh, my team's proud of me. Yeah, like, respectfully, fuck all this shit. Fuck everybody else. It's all about my team. Yeah. Given all that – do you believe, I mean, a rematch? Is that is that of what course, you're going to hunt for? Of course, of course. Come on, man. I've been doing this. This is my third fight in 10 months. Every time I fight, I risk losing, you know, what you guys deem as the prestigious, which it is, the belt and all that shit. But, no, nah, I put it on the line because I'm not trying to just fight once and then I'll chill, do my lap around and parade as a champion and – not risk so much. So, yeah, I put it on the line, and this is what happens. Again, dare to be great, and I am. Do you think it'll be tough? Because, you know, up to this one, it was true. You said, listen, guys, you're talking about a kickboxing match. You're talking about five years ago. Do you think it's going to be more difficult? Like, because there's going to be more discussion. Like, does this guy just have your number? I mean, I can already anticipate what it's going to be like. Do you think it's going to be more challenging to, ahead of this nah, rematch? No. I know what I can do. I mean, the fight was going on. He hit, he hit my um, perineal nerve. So that's why my footwork was compromised because I was wondering, even when I tripped and did the backwards, I had to like do a fucking roly-poly because I was like, oh shit, I just tripped over and it's not like me. So kudos to him for investing in those calf kicks because, yeah, it, it, it cost me. Sorry. All right. Appreciate you, John, but I got to go someone else. Kia ora, Izzy, Is back here. Special Ravinda, what's up? Kia ora, Izzy, good, thank you. First of all, kia ora, kia koe, and commiserations for the result today. Thank you. You've spoken all week about your CKB Fano army coming out here and supporting you. A lot of them were visibly upset at the result backstage. Is there anything that you want to say to them and that support that you've been getting this week? I already did. I talked to them face to face. I came in there, I flexed. I let them know I'm still here. And like, um, what's his name? Hold up, hold up. Fuck the guy, Wolf of Wall Street. I'm not fucking leaving. Yeah, I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere. You spoke about... Uh, Fuck, I sound like Rob right there. <laughs> <laughs> you anyway. spoke about that you felt okay uh, yeah. when the fight was stopped. Do you think that it should have been stopped in that moment? Uh, fuck. My ego would say at least let me go out of my shield, but I don't think I would have gone out because I was still there. You know, I've seen worse stoppage. Fucking bring back Steve Mazzagatti. <laughs> <laughs> Bring back Steve Mazzagatti, I would have been fine, and I would have been, you know, he might have won that round, but I'd still be champion. But um, oh, sorry. Yeah, carry on. Uh, finally, you say you, you know, you pride yourself on being, you know, active uh, in the octagon. So, you know, you'll take a little time to reset on this. And when do you, you know, intend on coming back, or do you, is it business as usual? Uh, I, I mean, I don't disclose everything. I've had some stuff that, you know, some medical stuff that I've just put on the back burner. Even stuff that people make fun of me for. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, I just got to look after myself because my health comes first. Even think about um, Chadwick Boseman when everyone was making fun of him. Oh, he looks so this. He looks so skinny. He looks so sleepy. Not knowing behind the scenes he was fighting cancer. People always make fun of me about, you know, my, my chest and other things. But they don't know what I'm doing or what I'm going through in life. But I just keep everything on the back burner. So I just got some things to fix first. And um, yeah, I'll be back. Is, 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 you're right. This is the, fir this is is the first time. You? Israel, um, you said in the past um, you were going to rise from the ashes when you lost to Jan. How do you do that now? Same, same. I'm still here. I mean, I have my team around me. It's the same energy, same shit, different fight.
you said your team is here, but your father's not here. I spoke with him earlier in the week, and he said he would be watching in New Zealand. Yeah, I already called them. I already called my family and let them know first. Of all, I, I, I looked for David in the crowd, and I was like, yo, I'm okay. I wanted them to know I'm fine. It wasn't anything. It was just my leg. My leg gave away, and it was really annoying. But again, kudos to him because he invested in those. I, I did the same thing to him. His leg's fucked. But, yeah, he just got me better. Similar thing between you and Kamaru. Winning the fight in the last round, you just lose the fight. Like, what happened? My leg. <laughs> my leg happened. He, he got calf kicks on and invested well. Last one. Um, when do you think you get that rematch with him? Mm, I haven't thought about that yet. I'm just focused on rehydrating and doing these obligations. Is he over to your right here, please? Kev. Did the fight go easier than you even may have thought like in the first four rounds it seemed like you were controlling the fight you maybe couldn't have fought a better fight the way it went did it go easier even than you imagined it had, it had would have I, gone? I could have I thought I was gonna stop him later on like the fourth maybe third round <clears throat> but um he's durable and he recovers well so even in the fifth round I knew he was gonna come strong because he was down same thing as last time again and yeah I mean it's another great story for him but it's not over this is still war and last question for me, did you feel like, you know, in retrospect, and it's always easy to say in retrospect, you should have maybe stepped on the gas a little more in the fourth round, and did you nah, feel like you had that opportunity? No, nah, I wish I – it was hard for me to attack um, with my wrestling because I was compromised again because of the the investment he made with the, with the calf kicks. But, um, bro, trust me, like when I had him, like I'm dangerous on the ground. People just don't realize that. But it was just – I was compromised early on, and it's not frustrating. I'm still – it just happened fucking an hour ago, so I'm kind of still just doing all these things, medicals and drug tests and whatnot. But um, yeah, uh, it's not frustrating. I'm just happy to be here. I'm happy my team's fine. You know, we did well as a fucking hell. Look what we did today. I mean, it was beautiful. Carlos, Brad, Dan, and then myself. What a life. Israel. This, this is the first I'll, I'll, time. Ta I'll take three more questions. Israel, right here. Um, I know how much you know the story arc and the journey is important to you. I know it's very fresh, but do you think at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, you're going to look at this as a positive moment in that story arc and something that turns out for the best? Yes, it's not over yet, but yes, I can already take a lot from this fight. Thank you. This was the first time we really got to see uh, ADCC Anya. Do we get to see more grappling? The more goes on, because you did very well in the sit. Bro, the way I try people, I, I'm slick with it, but I just, again, uh, I can get better. I can get better, but I'm very slick with it, and I work very hard on, on my uh, my grappling. But, um, yeah, I still have a lot of tricks off my sleeve. How close do you think you were uh, getting him out of there in the first round? Love the swag, by the way. Give me, like, three seconds, four more seconds, it would have been over. Because that hook didn't land the way I wanted it to. But, um, yeah. But, I mean, this is, that's hoopla. What do you call Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Doesn't matter, you know. He's the new champion. Congrats to him. And he did it again. Easy. Thank you, guys. Sorry I can't stay long, but I just got some shit to do. But, yeah. Thank you.